Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering least common multiples. And least common multiples are very important in 5th grade because we are going to be applying this skill to fractions once we get there. So you have to have this down in order to be successful with some of the stuff we are going to be doing with fractions. So just like the rest of my instructional videos, I highly suggest you write these out with me, but if you'd like to just sit there and watch, that's okay too. Up to you. You make the choice. So let's start with number one here, and we are going to find the least common multiple between three and four, or you sometimes might see the acronym for least common multiple, LCM. It means the same thing. That stands for least common multiple. So we need to make a list of multiples for both three and four. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, what is a multiple? Let's make our list for three first. And all multiples are, are the numbers that three can multiply into. And you think of three's multiplication facts. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times four is 12. An easy way to do this, rather than thinking of them as multiplication facts, is to just count up by three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. That list will go on forever, it's infinite, but there's no reason to continue on past five or six multiples. Okay, you can stop after four, five, or six. And then we're going to write our multiples list for four. So again, it's all the numbers that 4 can multiply into. And the easy way to write out the list is just count up by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. All right, so there are our multiples lists. We need to see if they have any in common, any they share, any partners here. Um, so you look at both both lists and it looks like they have a 12 in common and there aren't any more that they have in common. If we were to continue these lists on, we would find more they have in common, but we don't need to find more they have in common. We want the least they have in common and there aren't any less than 12. So our LCM or least common multiple for three and four is 12. That's our answer. Now, if we were in our fraction unit, we would use that 12 and apply it to a certain type of problem. So we would use that 12. So it's very, very important we know how to find the least common multiples. So let's go to 9 and 6. We'll make our multiples list for 9 and 6. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 6, 12, 18, 24. Do we have any in common? Yes, the 18. Let's see if we have any less than that. It doesn't look like it. So our LCM for 9 and 6 is 18. If, let's say, we wrote out our list for 9 and 6, and we didn't find any, just continue your list until you do find a match. So if you don't see one after you write out five multiples for each, that's okay. It will happen. You just need to continue your list until you find a matching pair. So number three, we have a 12 and a nine. So 12, 24, 36, 48. 9, 18, 27, 36, and it looks like we have a match there for 36. Any more? Less than that? No, it doesn't look like it. So our LCM for 12 and 9 is 36. Number 4, 5 and 20. If you want, if you think you have this down, go a little bit ahead of me here for the 5 and 20, and then check your answer with mine. So 5 and 20, 5, 10, 15, 
20. Notice my list for 20, I start with 20. And if you notice that we have a match already, there's no need for you to continue your list and go 20, 40, 60, 80. If you notice a match, you can stop there. So our LCM for five and 20 is 20. Your least common multiple can be one of the numbers in your problem. See how it matched our 20 there? That's okay, that happens. And then number five, we have three numbers we're finding the least common multiple between. So you make three lists and you have to find one that all three have in common and the least that they have in common. So I'm gonna come over here where I have a little bit more room. Eight, three, and six. So let's start with eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32. Let's do three now. Three, six, nine, 12. And six, six, 12, 18, 24. Let's see if we have any in common. And it does not look like we do yet. So we're gonna need to extend. And notice my eight is up at 32 already and my list for three is only at 12, and then my list for six is at 24. So I'm gonna continue my list for three since it's so much less than my other multiples list. So 15, 18, 21, 24. I think I saw a 24 earlier, so I'm gonna go back and check. Ah, I have a 24 here, 24 here, and I have a 24 here. Always double check that there's not one that's less than the one you pick out. Always double check and it doesn't look like it. So 24 is gonna be our LCM or least common multiple. So that's how you find least common multiples. Um, time for you to try some on your own to see if you have it down. So I dropped the link to the mastery check where you will try some on your own and check your work with mine to see if you have it down. So again, that link is down in the description. I will see you over at the mastery check. Thanks for watching.